the main center of nervous system is obviously brain now brain as you can see is located in our skull cavity also known as the cranium cavity the outer region of this cranium cavity is composed of the bony structure called cranium now that protects brain just inner part of that cranium we have three layers of meninges and these layers of meninges are filled by cerebrospinal fluid combiningly the cranium the three layers of meninges and the cerebrospinal fluid they protect the brain they act as cushion especially the cerebrospinal fluid that acts as a cushion absorbs the shocks and doesn't pass those shock to the brain and ultimately through the small injuries the brain will be prevented brain consists of gray matter on the outer surface whereas the inner surface will be composed of the white matter the mass of brain of an adult human male will be approximately 1350 g nothing compulsory slightly more or less but that would be an average mass of an adult human in case of human brain when we study that we classify this human brain into mainly three parts number 1 that is fore brain number 2 mid brain and number 3 that is the hind brain fore brain is further classified into cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus whereas the mid brain consists of corpora quadrigemina hind brain consists of cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata so whenever we study fore brain as you can see the topmost figure that is being darkening that is being darkened in order to represent the fore brain consisting of what cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus the mid brain the second figure that represents the presence of corpora quadrigemina and the last figure that is the bottom most figure that represents the hind brain which consists of cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata starting with the fore brain as you know that the fore brain consists of various parts cerebrum now that cerebrum will consist with various olfactory lobes we shall study about that olfactory lobes little bit later on then it consists of thalamus and hypothalamus which are present once again in the fore brain in the central part of the fore brain 